Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to talk about continuous compounding. All right, here's a, uh, a, a problem from your homework. Suppose that P is invested in a savings account in which interest K is compounded continuously at 4% per year. The balance, P of T, that is, P is a function of T, after time t in years is p of t equals p times e to the kt. You have continuous compounding. Now first, p is money. All right, that's what's being compounded. You put it in the bank at 4% interest. The first thing you're asked is, what is the exponential growth function in terms of p? Well, this is so you can let any amount of money be p. Um, however, k is going to be the interest rate. So you'll have p of t equals p e to the 0.04 t. Now, here's the story. We're told that we're going to invest $5,000 for two years at this interest rate. And how much money will we have after two years? Well, we're going to calculate this. If p of t equals p times e to the kt, then p of 2, that is p as a function of 2, is going to be 5,000, that's the principle we're putting in, 5,000 times e to the 0 0.04 times 2, which of course will be 0 0.08. So this is what we end up with, and when you put this in the calculator, you get $5,416.44. That is, what you multiply is 5,000 times e to the 0 0.08. So take point e to the 0 0.08, calculate that, multiply by 5,000, round to two, uh, two decimal places because that's the way we write money, and you'll have $5,416 and 44 cents after two years. Now C is more interesting. C says, when will an investment of 5,000 double itself? That is when, the word when means you're looking for T, when will $5,000 become $10,000 at this interest rate 0 0.04? We're going to find out. The first thing we're going to do is divide both sides of the equation by 5,000. That will give us 2 equals e to the 0 0.04t. Then to bring the t down, we'll take the natural log of both sides. We take the natural log of both sides because the ln of e is 1. All right, and so what we discover is that the ln of 2 equals the ln of e to the 0 0.04t, and we have an identity that that will give us 0 0.04t. The ln of e to the 0 0.04t will give us 0 0.04t. So t will end up being the ln of 2 divided by 0 0.04. This is the exact answer. Notice that this is the ln of 2. 2 is, is twice what the ln of 1 would be. Well, no, not quite, but, you know, it's twice. It's the doubling time. It's 2. Um, uh, divided by 0 0.04, the interest rate is t. And when you calculate this in a calculator, you get 17.3 years. It says round to the nearest tenth of a year, and that's what I did, 17.3 yeah, uh, years is the time. But we have a formula for doubling rate, and here it is. You don't need to memorize it. You can derive it yourself. But what that ends up being is the amount of time it takes any principle to double will be the natural log of 2 divided by the interest rate. Okay. Talk to you later.